Alright guys, so in this um, video, first things first, we're going to be finishing the Ocean Palace very, very quickly um, because I want to get to uh, more exciting things. Um, as you can see with these guys, they're... I don't know. I was kind of playing badly here. I don't know. Uh, it's kind of late, so... Um, don't... whatever. I still killed them, that's all that matters. And then when you go down this uh, elevator, they all, like, gangbang you, which is kind of annoying. Um, one of these battles, I think I got down to only Chrono, which was <laughs> kind of funny. Um, in a not-funny kind of way. Um, yeah, I just used Delta Force. I don't, I guess, because of powerful. I was trying to use it there, but then it, they kill Luca. Yeah, this is the one that stuff bad just, bad stuff happens to me. <laughs> I'm down to, like, only Chrono. I'm like, aww. <laughs> This sucks. And he's locked, too, so he can't use any techs or anything. Um, but I still am able to kill all those things that over there. That's kind of good for me. Um, so the next battle, I'm just going to heal up my party with our whirl and then, yeah, take out these things one by one because, you know, they all counterattack and get healed if you try to hit them with anything other than their element. I mean, like I said last video, you got to hit the yellow ones with um, lightning. The blue ones with bolts, or sorry, ice, and the red ones with fire. Anyway, so we're down here, and that thing isn't working because we have to push some switches, which are guarded by more scouters. So as long as you kill them, you're okay. Um, there's actually two switches, so you have to get rid of both of them. Um, so there you go. After you push the second switch, you can go across the bridge. Yay! So here's a save point. Go ahead and use a shelter, save your game, and um, up ahead is the Golem Twins. You'll want to equip your party once again with um, magic, armor, and... Ooh, I don't want to miss that treasure chest and elixir. Um, so, yeah, the Golem Twins, a lot of people have trouble with them, but as long as you... they Like the Golem before, it'll copy... They're both a copy your attacks. Um, as long as you don't have them, you know doing their physical attacks, you'll be okay. Their physical attacks are really the most devastating. Um, and you might be tempted to go for something like a Delta Force, or but I would highly recommend against Delta Force, because their shadow tech is also very powerful, since um, it affects your entire party for 100-something um, damage. Just keep, if you can, keep them on their fire attacks, or uh, water attacks, because those aren't really that powerful at all. Um, so, you should be okay if you keep them on those two attacks. Uh, Ruby Vest work well, Luca's special equipment works well, which I haven't been around, gotten around to getting this playthrough yet. I might do it eventually. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much all you have to say about this. A lot of people have trouble with it because they try to, like, physical attack it. Um, these guys really aren't that hard if you just, you know, attack them with magic like you're supposed to. That's basically what it comes down to. Attack them with magic nubcakes. Um, it might take a little while, but be patient. I mean, this isn't really a hard boss battle like some people make it out to be. Um, just all you have to do is, from the very start, hit them off of their physical attacks, and since and after that, just keep spamming them with magic. I mean, it's, uh, some people have a hard time with like nothing. So anyway not much else to say about this battle, I'm afraid. Um, kind of one-dimensional. That's why I'm speeding it up. So when they die, they'll just be like the other one and Dalton will four of them and burp at you, and that'll do damage to your entire party, so make sure you aren't super weak at that point. So he's gonna try to summon the golem boss against you, but then he's like, watch the strain's force, cause this be Lavos' energy. And he's got a really bad feeling about this. Star Wars quote... Um, and he is just gonna retreat, because apparently it's our lucky day. Cool. Anyway, enough of him. We can... I don't know, I'm just gonna save our my game. I don't know why I do that. I guess, I, I think it's because I don't remember if there's enough save point over here. Okay, so... This the Hall of the Man Machine. Now it was time to turn back, and he just commits suicide, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Aww. Oh. Yeah, we're here to shave you. We made it just in time. We'll have to turn this machine off. Yeah, you know I mean. Oh my goodness, she got zapped hardcore. 
Yeah, help your mother, Shala. Be a good little girl. As I take this red knife and slaughter your machine with it. Wah! Go, Mazamune! Holy crap, it turned into a sword! The Mazamune! I guess that's the power of Lavos. So that's how the Mazamune came to be. Ah, uh, that's not good. Really not good. Not, not good at all. Oh, crap. Well, we're gonna fight Lavos, might as well do it now. And guard, Lavos! I will defeat you! Ow, 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 ow. Ow! Well, that was a fun battle. Looks like Lavos is gonna be destroying the world now. Oh, look, it's that Prophet guy. Holy crap, it's Magus! I never saw that coming. Oh my goodness. Well, what can you do, Magus? Hopefully you can do something, because we're kind of screwed right now unless you can kill that thing. Yes, please stop. Listen to reason. What? What a crazy bitch! What? Come on, Magus. Go, Magus, go! Oh, Magus. You just failed. Uh... Yes, he has, apparently. Go for it! There you go, a good hit! Oh, but it's not working. That's a shame. And he just got... slapped by Matt, er, Lavos. Well, looks like we're all screwed. And Lavos is about to kill us all. Oh, about to kill Shola? Ah, uh, I'm gonna use the last of my power to try to kill this guy. I won't run away, because I'm a hero! What do you have to say, Magus? No, I haven't given up yet. I'm ready to fight you, Lavos! Huh. I got this! Whoa! Oh, crap, I don't got this. Don't got this. Shit. I just vanished. Holy crap, Chrono just died. Best plot twist ever! Anyway, we're back in the Mammon Machine Hall, and we can't seem to beat Lavos, and Chrono is dead. So this, this is not good. Ugh. Well, I guess you could do that, Shola, but it doesn't matter. Crano's dead. I hate your mother. She is one crazy... I mean, that's all I've got to say. <sighs> well, what can I do now? Not anything at all, I'm afraid. Lavos has won. So here comes Lavos, spewing fire from the ground. Well, there goes the Zeal Kingdom. Ow! Yikes! And the Zeal Kingdom is exploding. That is not good. <laughs> Silly people are falling to their deaths. Oh my god. Well, there goes the Zeal Kingdom. No, oh, it's the Earthbound ones. Tidal wave, you say? Well, you guys are fucked. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Ironic that the Earthbound ones also die, as well as the Zeal Kingdom people. Those Earthbound ones can't catch a break. Sorry, Chrono's dead. Such a sa shame. Yeah, we're awake. I don't even know who I'm even narrating myself as now. I guess I'll... F I guess I'll be Meryl. 
Sure. Huh. That's such a shame! We must save Chrono! Okay, enough of that. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, but apparently a gate appeared, and that's how the Melkir got to uh, 1000 AD. Oh, look, our ship is safe. That's good. We have to save Chrono, because that guy was awesome. Well, you got your pendant back, at least. Yikes. I need to add another party member. Who should it be? Um, Ayla, because I actually have a good reason to put her in my party right now. Anyway, done to save your game. Rate, comment, subscribe, guys, and see you guys again next time.